Hello everyone, and let's check out another wonderful chess game by Wilhelm Steinitz from 1864 in London. And this time, Steinitz has the white pieces and his opponent is Edmund Thorold. So let's quickly check out this marvelous chess game. As soon as possible, Wilhelm Steinitz starts the game with playing e4, e5, and then f4, the king's gambit, accepted, knight to f3, g5, h4, g4, attacking the knight. Well, Steinitz played knight to e5, knight to f6, and bishop to c4, attacking on f7, how to defend? Thorold played d5, defending and blocking. Steinitz captured the pawn, e takes on d5, bishop to d6, attacking the knight, defending, knight to h5, knight to c3, and queen to e7. The knight is pinned, maybe threatening to push the pawn, and winning the knight. Steinitz played bishop to b5, that's check. And Edmund Thorold played king to f8, defending. Well, after queen to e7, castling would be a normal move. Maybe retreating the bishop and blocking the king would be also a normal move. Actually, bishop to b5 was also fine. But if c6, then bishop to e2 is okay for white. If bishop takes knight, d takes on e5. And if queen takes on e5, White is castling, and white has a perfect position. If f3, this is not working, then bishop takes on f3. If g takes on f3, then rook to e1 is winning the queen at the game. So black played king to f8. As you can see, black has some issues. And after king to f8, Shetain is castled. Bishop takes on e5. D takes on e5. Queen takes pawn. And now... There is no rook to e1, knight to e2, c6 attacking the bishop. What would you do in this position? Well, Steinitz played, knight takes on f4, sacrificing the bishop. What an incredible move by Steinitz. And Edmund Thorold captured the bishop, c takes on b5, knight takes on h5, queen takes knight, and queen to d4. Attacking the rook, defending with the king, king to g8, black is a piece up, but the king's safety is compromised. Black king haven't castled, and also the rook on h8 is stuck. It is white to move, and Shetain is played, bishop to g5, h6 attacking the bishop, bishop to f6, attacking the rook, defending, rook from a to e1, can you see the threat? Rook to e8, checkmate, that's the threat. So black has to defend, bishop to d7, defending. Rook to e5, by Steinitz, attacking the queen, queen to g6, and h5, attacking the queen again. There are not many safe suckers for the queen. The only safe sucker for the queen is c2. So Edmund Thorold captured the pawn, queen takes on c2. And what would you do now, at this moment of the game? Can you see the killer move? What would you do if you had the white pieces? Well, there is a move that wins instantly. Well, Steiner saw that move immediately. What would you do? Can you see the killer move? Well, Wilhelm Steiner's played. Queen takes on g4, sacrificing the queen. But black didn't capture the queen, and black played king to f8, not capturing the queen. After queen takes on g4, if bishop takes queen, then rook to e8, that's checkmate. So this is why Wilhelm Steinitz epically captured the pawn with the queen, without having any fear. And Edmund Thorold played king to f8, and then bishop to e7 by Steinitz. The only move is king to e8. And then there is checkmate in one move. Wilhelm Schettin is played. Queen to g8. Check. Mate. Another epic chess game by Wilhelm Schettin. What a game. What an incredible, marvelous chess game. 
a chess beauty, a masterpiece by the first official world chess champion, Wilhelm Steinitz. And thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Take care, and bye-bye.